Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Blaster Master 02. Apparently there was some kind of weird audio glitch for the past two episodes uh, that has nothing to do with the gun. Apparently I had, like, the game audio stacked on top of itself. I don't think it's noticeable, but if it was, I'm sorry. And, uh, well, it's fixed now at the very least. So anyway, uh, let's see, I guess it's time to check out this lumpy mess of a rock. Oh boy. Let's see. One of that shockwave will allow you to dig through the tunnel of breakable blocks. That's interesting. Let's see. Is this Blaster Master 0 or 0 2? This is 0 2. I haven't played 0 yet. It was successfully touched down on the planet Montage. This place is quite a lot of water, just like Earth. Oh, getting homesick? No, I'm fine, but. If we land on water, there's no impact for the Gaia system to convert into SP. Some locations might be limited in opportunities to recover SP. We should be able to find. The tunnel's access key here, yeah? I can't pinpoint the exact location, but I can say for certain it's here. Oh, but I'm also picking up lots of mutant readings here, too. One of those mutants must have the key, huh? Jason, Sophia's getting another signal. Something non-mutant. Again, no exact location, but whatever it is, it's not far. Got it. Let's check it out. Anything up here? New. No. Okay, so whatever that is, I've got to handle that myself. Okay. Ow. Oh, can I not- can I not duck? I can't duck underwater. Which is kind of silly, because you think you'd be able to duck even if it doesn't make the most amount of sense. Oh, okay, I gotta shoot those. That's closed. It doesn't look like I've got anything else I can do. Well, down we go. Oh, wait, no, I can duck. It just wasn't letting me duck earlier. Well, that mansion's there. Ow. Oh, oh, I can't actually swim. E wait, what? These controls are confusing. Mainly... Mainly it's just uh, amplified by the fact that I'm not used to uh, playing as, as Jason outside of the suit. Fuck oh, damn you. Oh, I see. It's just up and down on the stick. I don't have to press buttons or anything. So I have to jump to effectively let go. Got it. All right, planetoid map B3. That doesn't let us get past the, uh, the bamboo wall, though. Actually, I'm kind of confused why the tank can't just blast its way past the bamboo wall. It feels like you should be able to do something to that. But I don't know. I I guess we just gotta go back. Cause I don't I don't see yeah, super bamboo with plot armor. I you really think a a, a tank with a big old cannon could blast his way through that. I guess no dice. Okay, new discovery. Let's see. B three. Maybe this will have the flamethrower or something on it. Oh! Okay, so we're back- we're back on this. Whoop! Okay, so I got this stinger. Okay, so I just have to wait until that pops up. And then I can target him. There we go. Okay, so they are they are killable. Well, that's 
Whatever that is, it is gone. It is bailed on me, bailed on the universe. Let's see. Okay. Oh, and it's gone. All right. Well, this is actually working out fairly well for me. I'm assuming, yeah, I'm considerably slower in the water. Begs the question as to how the weird shark creature is able to get at me, but okay. Hey. Oh, shoot. Am I going to have to go kill that other one? If that one had a key? I hope not. Okay, it's dead. Up, oh, and there comes the bouncy, bouncy thing. But the bouncy thing is immediately gone. Let's just hope I don't need another one of those. Well, I need a key. Oh, right, landmines. Wait, I can just shoot through. I can just shoot through the environment. What am I doing? Haha! I care little for your petty tricks, creature. Energy guard. Prevent your gun from dropping when taking damage. Guard disappears after one hit, but will regenerate over time. Well, that's nice. But that doesn't solve our bamboo problems. So I guess I'm supposed to come back here. Well, either way, that, that thing's actually quite handy, so I'll take it regardless. Okay, so... Maybe... Hmm... Maybe the other direction? Oh, yeah. There's our answer. I'm just so used to going left or right. Or left. Or, no. I'm always so used to going right in these games that going left feels very strange. I guess I gotta get used to it. It's not every game conforms to the same standards. Oh. Oh. I gotta, like, ram it-ish. Whatever that is. Excuse me, brain plant. This is a no hitting me zone. Oh, I see. I'm too strong to even destroy this. Well, that's. Or I, I'm too. I'm too weak. Not too strong. I don't know. This game is really perfected, but would later become proper Metroidvania non-linear exploration. It's... Considering you were saying how, like, clunky it probably used to be, I wonder if, um... I wonder if, to some degree, had these games done better and been re received better, if they'd actually, uh... I keep bumping my face into those. It sucks. That ain't working. Uh, I wonder if they had been done better and been received better if they actually would have supplanted uh, the the whole genre. Man, can you imagine if history had gone differently instead of Metroidvanias we had Blaster Master likes? Uh, bla Blastoids? Okay, there we go. That'd be a weird day. Excuse me, Mr. Diamond Man. No dice. I, I feel like I'm invading somebody's just like... totally regular farming... 
planet. Like, I don't know. I don't know about you guys. It, ju it just feels like I'm... I really am, like, quite the interloper here. I'm even destroying their garden. Like, I feel wrong about this. How many of them are there, too? Unless they're respawning on me. No. This game really hasn't done the respawning enemies thing before. That just was that. Ow. Okay. Note to self. That's a bad. Okay, well, we've got a couple more things around here. Oh, damn it. Uh... My... My landmines are neat, but not that useful here. Oh. There we go. Safety! Are they gonna... Nope, they just shoot up and down. Okay, well, that's good. Oh, that wall might have actually been destructible from the side. But yeah, I'm just wrecking their... I, I'm just wrecking all their, their vegetables. And they can do nothing to stop me but sick their weird diamond creations at me. I... I feel bad. Yeah, I actually feel legitimately a little bit bad here. I... I really am... just like... in the wrong. Everywhere else we've been to, it doesn't matter so much, because it's just like, okay, it's just like... weird alien mutant business. But like, I don't know, these people just, something, something, my cabbages. Okay, there we go. Should be able to get through the door. All right. Oh, no power-ups for me this time. Well, that's mean. What the? A human-shaped mutant? No, wait, an actual human? What? You're with Zavira? Zavira, you mean the mutants? No, no, I'm... You've gone and destroyed the crops I worked so hard on, you dumb spud. Get ready for a beating. The gear is... No way, damn. I don't have a choice here. Man versus man. Gone bay. Okay. Well, he seems like he's decently susceptible to homing shot. Did he just Tuscan Raider me? Homeboy just Tuscan Raidered me. Oh, he actually got me there. Ah, it didn't work. Well, that's okay. I'm keeping my... I'm keeping my, my charge. Which is really all I needed. Not that I'm in too dire straits. Okay, so he's gonna charge at me. Yeah, I just gotta make sure I'm not within stabbing distance. Round two. Round three? There we go. 
Gah, you got some gumption. Damn, he's still not giving up. Kanbei. Huh? Tai, Tay? Jason, Jason, can you hear me? I got a call from that guy's support droid. If he's got a support droid, then he must be. That's right, Jason. He's an MA pilot. Metal attacker. The MA series was created and dispersed throughout space in order to combat the mutant threat. Eve once said that Sophia 3 was not the only vehicle in that line. What? What's the deal, Tay? No deal about it. That fellow's a true blue MA pilot, same as you. What? I'm sorry. I had no idea there were other MA pilots out there. Ganbei, you blockhead. If you listened to what folks told you, I wouldn't have to clean up your dang messes so much. Well, I'm just glad it, it's cleared up now. Jason and Eve, was it? I'm Ganbei. I work as a farmer in this village. Well, these days is more of a ghost village. The villagers are all hidden in a refuge deep in the mountains. And I'm who called y'all all the way from that there refuge. Name's Tay. Tay. Nice to meet you. We came here to find the access key for the dimensional tunnel near the planet. Outer space, planet Sophia, dimensional tunnels. Sure is a wild, wide old world outside this planet, huh? Most likely. Boss mutant who you call Zavira has the key. We both want to defeat Zavira. How about we work together? Access key, huh? Zavira's definitely got a key, but... To tell you the truth, my MA is in a bad state. Zavira gave her an awful thrashing, so Tay's been trying her best to repair her since then. Been doing my best, but I ain't got the parts I need. Gombe got her good and busted. So we need some brand new parts if we were going to fix her up. Well, that's the story. I'd love to help, but we need to get my MA up and running first. In that case, I'll lend a hand. We've got some spare parts you might be able to use. Would that be okay, Jason? Of course. Anything for a fellow mutant blasting MA pilot. Much obliged. Hate to ask, but can y'all come out to our refuge? You can get there by scaling the cliff outside the village. I got it blocked off right now, but I'll clear the way for you. Got it. We'll head up there as soon as we get out of here. Oop. Okay, shift up attacker. High speed dash counter. That closes in and attacks enemies from point blank range. I wonder if the dialogue would have been different if you didn't walk in the crops. I don't think I would have gotten a choice, unfortunately. Like, sadly. Oh, wow. Dang bird creature. I might not actually be able to hurt that bird creature. Nope, there we go. I just needed to be... I just needed to be that much more beef chunk for it. Oh. This is a bit of a weird mess. What do we got over here? Kinda nothing. No, there's that that gate back the other direction. I'm just exploring for now. Eh. There we go. Might as well grab those. Man, this is one hell of a lot of bamboo too. It's huge. Okay, so let's do this again. I really like that stinger. It's great. Does a decent chunk of damage. And kind of completely destroys my foes. Okay, so I need... Oh, I, I do have a key. I don't need those yet, though. Let's give that a bit of a pass, at least for a little while. Okay, luckily, these guys can't attack me from the side, and as long as I use Stinger, I can just clear them. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I see. Oh, you stunlock it. Sort of. 
So it effectively tries to attack you, you stun it, and that's when you actually do the damage. I was just trying to hit him previously. But this is way, way more efficient. Okay. Trudge through the waters. Let's see, I've got plenty of grenades. You know what? Why don't we do our... Shift... Why don't we do Shift Attacker? It seems interesting, and I don't know if it changes... too much. Okay, so I need a third key for whatever that is. I really like uh, the character's design. It's very Sentai. Which I realize people are going to miss here, but I'm sticking with it. I don't know. There's something cool about, like, armor spacesuits and whatnot. Like, full helmets. Just a junk room. I mean, useful junk, but still junk. Okay, there we go. That's that's the ticket. Don't take too much damage here, and we can go get that other thing. So I think you can grenade the wall on the other side. No, based on the crack pattern, uh, we can try it, but I'm 90% certain it's only grenade uh, grenadable on one one side. Yeah, I really like Sentai. Sh the idea of Sentai shows. Yeah, see, doesn't break. Got to get the key. Then you can bust your way out of it for reasons. Map B. Interior map of planet Montage and planetoids in nearby space. So that's that's why there's a grenade thing. Wow. Those stupid little caterpillars. Got a map for planet B1. I I like this. The nonlinear nonlinear exploration is really satisfying, actually. Okay, let's just burn that out and wait for it to come back. Dancing car. I don't think there's anything over there. I'm just gonna kind of explore. I'm assuming, yeah, that's locked off. And yeah, I can't interact with that for whatever reason. Well, that's okay. Hello! Oh! Hey, you made it! This must be your MA. Yep, this is... Kubiko, probably? Kue Biko? Kue? Kue? Kue. Kue Biko. She's busted up now, but she's a faithful partner. Jason, Ganbe, I'll get started on helping out Tay. Although, I can't leave Sophia, so I'll just be supporting her o over the receiver. Y'all have done enough, just bring in the parts. Just rest yourself there. Jason, thanks for all your heart, uh, all your help. Take this with you. Recoil jump? Is that an MA maneuver chip? You compiled Kue Biko's maneuver data into a chip for us, thank you. To get Zavira, you'll need to descend the mountain and climb the next one. That maneuver should make the next climb a breeze. Great, thanks. We'll head there as soon as Eve's work's done. Ready to rush out there, huh? Well, I don't blame you. As soon as Kubiko is up and running, I'll be right there after you. But Zavira's no normal mutant. If you end up on your own, be careful. What do you mean? It's a long story. If you really want to hear it, I'll tell you later. Basically, I let my guard down too many times. Remember this, it's not just your life that you're fighting for. If I were defeated by a mutant, even Fred would be on their own. Won't ever let that happen. You're right. You be careful, too. Alright, just got some tweaks left to make. You saved our bacon. Our pleasure. Eve, let's head out as soon as we get this maneuver set up. Recoil jump. Press the jump button while stuck to a wall to re repel in the opposite direction. We got a wall jump! Sweet! So is that the tank from the Genesis game? Could be. I personally wouldn't know, but... I like the looks of it. Oh. All of this started when our taxes started soaring out of the blue. Our crops have been having a bad year. Uh, uh, have have been having bad year after bad year, and what's more, yokai we've never seen before have been rampaging in our fields. 
We didn't know then, but those yokai were mutants all along. But anyway, we couldn't have just we couldn't just hand over our crops like that. We'd starve to death. So we went to go see the governor about lightening the tax load on us farmers. How dare you! Was all we got from our for our trouble. Stubborn as a mule. We couldn't take or we wouldn't take that lying down. Of course, no one was gonna quietly starve to death for someone like that. So you started a farmers' rebellion. Well, to us it was known as Iki. Iki, huh? In our society, it's not uncommon. We're just farmers after all. It's the only way we have to fight for our rights. So we fight all the way to the governor's office and get inside. But the governor, who's no longer human, no way. Are you saying a mutant took over a human's body? That's right. And that mutant is the one we call Zavira. Zavira takes over a human, consumes their soul, and reproduces. They get bigger, grow stronger, and do it all over again. Zavira sounds like the mutant overlord we fought on Earth. Mutant with intelligence and control over other mutants. There must be something special about these ones. Many died that day, villagers and loved ones. Ugh. We had no way of fighting the mutants back then. Since Tay came here with Kuibiko, we've, we've put up a fight, barely. Our fighting force is still dwindled. Now it's just us two. Even with just the two of us, our Iki will continue. I won't let it end. Well, that was cool. Also, he has a dragonfly drone for whatever reason. I'm fine with that. I don't know. I, I like, like, autonomous little robots like that. They're cute. And kind of fun. I, I don't know. I want, I want a dragonfly drone. Dang it. Anyway, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode of Blaster Master Zero Two. And as always, thanks for watching.